Earn your way to the Winter Paralympics. This is a sixth grade math review project. So it covers the math standards for sixth grade. It also incorporates social studies and language arts. And it gives students kind of an overview of what the Winter Paralympics are like and what different events they offer. So students are gonna brush up on their math skills. They're gonna have eight different challenges to overcome as they travel to different cities around the world and try to earn a spot on the Paralympic team. So they're gonna answer math questions. They're gonna learn about different cultures as they travel from city to city. They're gonna keep a journal of their experiences, keep track of their progress on a map, maintain a travel itinerary, and import photos for every city that they visit. And you wanna uh, explain to the students that they need to click on this snowflake every time they finish a slide. That'll show them where to go next because some of these slides they have to go back to several times. So if they just click on the snowflake, it'll show them where to go. So here it says slide four, they click on slide four. Takes them to the next slide. Now the first math task, and there are eight of them all together, they're gonna to be competing in Squaw Valley, California. It's a ski resort on the border of California and Nevada. If they complete all of the math problems correctly, they earn a bus ticket to Squaw Valley. So the first one is ordering decimals. And these are some drag and drop. They're gonna drag and drop each of these, the first five, and put them in order from least to greatest. So they just click and hold on the edge and then they can move it into the correct rectangle. The last five are ordering from greatest to least. So when they get a score of 10, then they're gonna click on the snowflake. So they wanna turn this into you for a grade. I always give them back to the students and that way they can correct any errors and get a final score. Now, once they've got all 10 correct, then they've earned their bus ticket to Squaw Valley. The next thing they're gonna do is do a little bit of research about Squaw Valley. So you wanna get on the computers and they also want to choose the sport that they're competing in. So if they need ideas, they just click on this snowflake at the top and it has six different events here, para-alpine skiing, para-biathlon, cross-country skiing, ice hockey, snowboarding, and wheelchair curling. So they've got to choose one of these. They can do some research online to find out what one, each of these events are. Once they've chosen their event, then they just click on this snowflake, and it'll take them right back to slide seven where they were. They're going to name two sites that they'd like to see in Squaw Valley and some favorite foods that are eaten there. When they finish all three of these, then they're going to click on the snowflake. Now they've got an itinerary. So each time they travel to a different city, they're gonna be filling out one row. So they only have to fill out one row at a time. The first one's already done for them, Squaw Valley. They have to type in how many miles from their home to Squaw Valley. They have to type in the date and the type of transportation. So it told them they were going to be traveling by bus, so they just type in bus. So each time they travel to a different city, they're going to type in the city name, how many miles on this one from Squaw Valley to their next site, which is uh, British Columbia, and the date of arrival, miles traveled, and then their transportation, in this case, is going to be a train. So they only have to do it one row at a time. Then they're gonna go on to the map. So here are all of the cities. The red circles represent different cities around the world. The first one is, again, Squall Valley. So they click and hold on the edge, and it has to be this one. It's the only one in California. And they only do one city at a time. So each time they uh, finish a math task, they're going to import the next city. They're gonna move it, so click and hold, move it next to its red dot. And then they click on the snowflake that's next to it, and they'll take them to the journal entry. So here they're gonna be creative with language arts. They're going to just make up a story about what happened to them at this first qualifying event in Squaw Valley. They're gonna talk about their sport and just make up a nice little story, be creative, use complete sentences. When they're done filling out their journal, then they're gonna import some pictures of Squaw Valley. So to do this, they just come up here to insert image 
search the web. So insert image, search the web, and there'll be a search box up here. So they want to type in Squaw Valley, click enter, and they'll get these different pictures that come up. So they want to get something that's pretty close to a square because that'll make it much easier for them to import. So they find the picture they want, they click on it, and then click insert. Now it's going to come up larger than they need. So these little uh, blue boxes in the corners, they click on it and they move toward the center. They can make it smaller. This little blue circle here, they can turn it so it fits. And you just want to play with it a little bit and get it to fit right in that square. And they want to import three different pictures of Squaw Valley. Then they click on the snowflake. Then they go to math test two. So they're going to be repeating these steps for every city. Next one's in Vancouver, British Columbia. Tells a little bit about Vancouver. They're going to then complete problems of order of operations. They just type in the answer. Then they're going to get on a train to Vancouver. And they're going to do the same thing again. They have to do some research on Vancouver, some sites they'd like to see, and some favorite foods. So they just repeat that for eight different tasks. When they get to the end, they get a little congratulations. So a lot of fun for the students. It'll take up some time, about two to three weeks, depending on your students. And they're going to learn quite a lot. So earn your way to the Winter Paralympics, a sixth grade math review project.